Hey everybody, welcome back to Planet Coaster. Let's make some progress on our project The Circle. In the last episode we filled the first segment and in this episode we're building houses in two segments with some kind of an official building, like um, city administration or such. I felt higher buildings should be standing in the second row and this is because of two reasons. One. The first row should be filled with buildings lower altitude to keep the view for the Eiffel Tower. And second, even if it's far away from the real circumstances and the seventh only small in Paris, I thought it looks more cozy like from a visitor's perspective that buildings will rise in height from circle to circle. The style I'm trying to achieve is inspired by Neo Renaissance Neoclassical. I've used pictures of the Palais de Louvre as a template, which, later on, you can easily spot by the style of the windows. Therefore, the in-game ones does perfectly fit the scene. Palais de Louvre is also crowded with different kinds of statues from various periods. Spoiler alert, I will leave them out. Obviously, we don't have a lot of sculptures in the game, unless you build them by yourself. But this is totally fine for me, because... The main interest of the game is the construction of the theme park instead of re a recreation of a town. What I am building here should be used as a template. Later on I'm copying it around to fill the whole segment. Note to myself, the copying process is much easier if you put an anchor like one of the grid brackets in the middle of the park. Well, we are still on the ground floor of this building and this brings me to teacher's corner. Skip this if you like to. In the last episode I've said these little houses are wrong built by me. And this is why. The cityscape of Paris was significantly influenced by George Haussmann, who I hope I pronounce is right. Um, he was a French perfect and town planner and he was hired from 1853 I guess to 1869. He issued building regulations for the execution, the room height and the number of stories. Today it's probably against political correctness to say so, but in those days he planned shop premises for the ground floor and the first floor was reserved as accommodation for the shopkeepers. The second floor, quite a distance from the noise and dirt of the streets, was where wealthier families should live. Every here and there was an attic where the servants of those rich families of the second floor or students should live. George Horseman, here and there, also insists the choice of the building material. The houses in the districts were hardly to be distinguished due to the architectural style. Often you can only distinguish whether you are in the poorer or richer environment by the material used. That's enough. End of teacher's corner. We are going back to the building process. As you can see, my owners of the first apartment got a balcony. The inhabitants of the second floor won't. Well, I'm playing around with the decoration of the ground floor. At first I'd like to add a sunscreen here and I'd like to have a, an emphasis of these little overhangs here. I've ended up with uh, these ropes. I felt it was necessary to add some more decoration and uh, yeah, I found out these little template pieces out of the adventure pack will do the job. We are heading straight into the building process of the second floor and of course we need some more lightning. Lightning is a very cool thing in Planet Coaster I think and yeah, I love to do that. What needs to be done is the copying around process and obviously we need a roof. I'm coming back to you at the end of the video and in the meantime enjoy.
here we are back again I've spent a lot of time placing this roof tiles because it is easy to use grid pieces when you are building off the grid we've added some shops we closed the building on the left hand side and the right hand side and of course we added some greenery everything looks better with some greenery around right we are already close to the end of the video. I'm copying this building around to the nearest segment of screen. But for now, thank you guys for watching and have a great day, a great night. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.